guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I'm going to be sharing my current favorite products with you including skincare, hair care, and makeup, but also a bunch of other random things like clothes, books, and perfume. So let's jump right into it. This time around skincare is my smallest category. I actually only have one facial skincare product to talk about and the other product is a body care product. I have been testing out a lot of new skincare products, but I'm not gonna put something in a favorites video just for the sake of having more skincare products to share because you guys know me, I take my favorites very seriously. So I want to make sure I truly, truly love something and consider it to be a favorite before putting it in a favorites video. So the one product that actually made the cut this time around is the Naturia Multi-Peptide Moisturizer. I included this in a recent video where I shared six new moisturizers that I'm really loving lately, especially for winter. And if you haven't seen that yet, I of course will list that below. But out of all of the moisturizers in that video, this was a standout to me because this is the one that I find myself reaching for the most. This of course has peptides in it, being called a multi-peptide moisturizer, but aside from that, it contains jojoba seed oil, squalane, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, panthenol, and is fragrance and essential oil free. The texture of this is like a lightweight cream and it's super nice to apply. It's very soft, it blends into the skin nicely, it absorbs really quickly, all around, it's just a great moisturizer, which is why it is officially considered to be a favorite. I do find myself reaching for this more in the morning than at night. I feel like I've just been going for the really, really thick, occlusive creams at night, but for daytime, this is perfect. It's moisturizing enough for this really gross, cold, dry weather, but it's not too, too thick and heavy for the daytime or to put a sunscreen on top of while at the same time not being too lightweight, not being like a gel lotion like I like to wear in the summer. So if you have not tried this out, I would definitely recommend it. You can pick up this brand at Target and I feel like this is something that would work with a lot of different skin types just given the texture of the product. It's not too much, it's not too little, it's just right. And my other skincare favorite is the Tree Hut Tropic Glow Firming Whipped Shea Body Butter. This is absolutely delightful. <laughs> Oh my God, it smells so good. It's described as a body butter that smells like warm summer skin with key notes of almond, golden amber, and sandalwood. Oh my God. You like, you just have to buy this and smell this. You're gonna be obsessed. And the texture of this product is absolutely, oh wait, I should tell you guys some of the nice ingredients. There are a lot of really nice nourishing and conditioning ingredients in this, like shea butter, pistachio seed oil, cupachu butter. Love to see that from the drugstore. This is also something that I got from Target, by the way, but you can pick it up at Ulta as well. Anyway, back to the texture. Like I was saying, it is freaking amazing. It is definitely whipped, like the name suggests, but in such a silky, soft, creamy, luxurious way. Oh my gosh. And I am super, super picky about body lotions. If they don't blend into the skin easily, I'm out. If they take a long time to dry down, I'm out. If they end up being a little bit sticky on the skin, I'm out. And this obviously has none of those problems or it would not be in this video. It really is just my perfect kind of body butter. It's soft and silky. I love, love, love applying this and it's perfectly moisturizing without feeling wet on the skin. Cause I feel like there's a difference between a sticky lotion and a wet lotion. You know what I mean? Maybe you don't, maybe you're not as crazy about body lotions as I am, but <laughs> like I said, I'm particular and this just doesn't have any of the things that I don't like. It is perfect and it is from the drugstore. What's not to love? Okay, I have three hair care products that I want to briefly touch on, but I'm not going to do a deep dive on them because I included all of these in my top 10 hair care favorites of 2022 video. I feel like I just haven't really tried any products since then that I would consider to be favorite worthy, but I was thinking about some of the newer products that I've tested out in the past few months, and these definitely stood out to me the most. I find myself reaching for them all the time. I'm still really excited about them because they feel like new products still, and they're just great. So I'm going to give them a shout out, but if you want to know more details on them, actually, I have individual videos on all of these products now. So I'll list those below as well. First up is the Living Proof Triple Bond Complex Hair Strengthener. This is such an amazing, easy product to throw into your routine to basically see instant results. This makes my hair so soft, so shiny, and so healthy looking. I don't fully understand how it works because I still haven't really disclosed that, but for me, it just works and I love it. Next is the Eliza Vecca CER-100 Collagen Ceramide Coating Protein Treatment. I think 
this is the most affordable hair care product that I consider to be a favorite. It is absolutely amazing. Such nice ingredients for conditioning the hair and for damaged hair. And while I don't think that it's something that is going to rebuild broken bonds, I do think that it's an amazing option for those that have damaged hair of any kind. Highly recommend checking that out. And last is the sleepy tie. I feel like this thing has just changed my life and has made hair styling so much easier for me because my hair just really doesn't hold a style very well and this completely changes that for me. I know a lot of you have been asking to see a tutorial on how I use this and since I do use it a little bit differently than the brand recommends, I decided to film an entire video on that and an alternative option if you don't own the sleepy tie for maintaining a blowout or curls overnight. So again, that video will be listed below, but if you just wanna use it how the brand suggests using it, that's fine too. Either way, everyone needs a sleepy tie in their life. All right, time for makeup. I definitely have quite a few more makeup products than I did skincare and hair care. First up is the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. This has buildable to full coverage, a really, really nice satiny natural finish, and is super long wearing. It doesn't go creasy on me, it doesn't start to go patchy or flake off, it holds up beautifully and just stays looking nice and fresh and healthy under the eyes. There's definitely something more natural about this, even though you do get a really good amount of coverage. It's not one of those full coverage concealers that looks like you're wearing a lot of makeup. I just think it's a more natural option somehow some way and I do have a lot of concealers because I feel like there have been a lot of concealer launches that I've been interested in so I have a pretty I wouldn't say like huge concealer collection but a pretty decently sized one given that product category and like how slowly you go through concealers and this is the only one that I've been reaching for over the past couple months now that I have it I'm like sorry all of you other concealers but this is all I want next is a newer drugstore launch it is the essence pure nude baked blush I was so excited when I saw this launch because essence makes some incredible products I have quite a few products from them that I really really love so I had a feeling I was going to be a obsessed with this and I was or am I still am so I did get a few different shades from them but my personal favorite right now is shimmery rose this isn't really a rose color at all it's kind of like a light peachy pink which is not normally a color I would go for but this really reminds me of the NARS liquid blush in orgasm it's like that same exact kind of shade and for some reason I feel like that NARS shade ends up looking really beautiful on just about everybody it just like works with so many different skin tones so that's why I wanted to try this I was hoping it would be that same kind of thing and I really feel like it is but obviously for a fraction of the cost and I mean it's a powder not a liquid but same kind of color. When it comes to the formula, I would say that this is a really nice soft powder blush. It has buildable coverage. It's not too highly pigmented to where you have to be like careful about how much you use because it won't blend out. It's nice and buildable and has a really, really beautiful satiny kind of sheeny finish on the skin. So when I use this, I don't even need to use highlighter because it's almost kind of like a blush lighter. Not fully, but pretty much. So I have really been loving this. And again, what's not to love when it's so affordable? Next is definitely a product that I have showed you guys in a few videos at this point. It is the Sephora Micro Smooth Multitasking Baked Face Powder. This is not technically a bronzer. It's just supposed to be for setting your face makeup, but I love using products like that as bronzers. I just pick up a deeper shade because I find that they tend to look more natural and just have a formula that is more buildable and blendable and easier to work with and not so intensely pigmented and harsh like some bronzers can be. Not all bronzers obviously, but sometimes. So I have the shade 35 bronze, which is a perfect match for my fair skin and similar to the Dior concealer, I feel like now that I have this, it's really difficult for me to reach for anything else because I just love the way that this looks. Yes. Next is the Benefit Goof Proof Eye... What? Brow Pencil. Is that... Okay. Yes, that's the name. I don't have this on my eyebrows right now, so don't look at my eyebrows right now to validate how good this pencil is. I'll make sure to insert some footage. So I have told you guys several times before that I really struggle with my brows, and my most recent eyebrow favorite was the Nude Sticks Eyebrow Pencil, specifically because the shade that I was using, that they have now discontinued, was the perfect match 
match for my warmer blonde hair. It's not that I was necessarily any more obsessed with the actual pencil than I was other pencils that I've tried. It really was just the shade. So since that shade no longer exists, I have been testing out new brow products to find a new replacement. And this is the one that has stood out to me the most. And now that I have this, I'm like, yeah, this definitely has a better formula than the nude sticks option for my specific brow situation. It has the same kind of setup where it's a little bit of a thicker angled pencil, but it's definitely drier, which actually works a lot better for me because I have really sparse brows. If I use something that's too creamy, it kind of just like wipes off because I don't have enough brow hair for it to stick to. So it's like I'm putting that cream on bare skin in some areas and it just doesn't really work well. But this is something that definitely draws on better for me because of the fact that it's a bit drier. So if you do have really sparse brows, I would highly recommend checking this pencil out. I find that it makes it easier for me to get a more natural look and that's really difficult when I'm basically trying to draw on an entire eyebrow. I have the shade 2 which I actually do think that they call warm blonde. Maybe not. I could be wrong but I would say that it's definitely not as warm as I would like it to be. It's not like it's super cool and ashy, but compared to that Nude Sticks one, this is not as good of a color match as that, which is a bummer. I wish I had an option just like that, but it works nonetheless and is my current favorite. Next up is this little guy right here. This is an eyelash separator. I think this was like a $5, $3, I don't know, cheap little tool that I picked up on Amazon. And this is such a game changer for separating clumps in your lashes. I feel like no matter what, no matter how amazing your mascara is, there's always going to be a couple lashes that clump together and I used to use things like safety pins, wouldn't recommend trying that at home, tweezers, also wouldn't recommend that, and I would also use just dry mascara wands and while that works really well, this works the absolute best. It separates your lashes so so well and it just it gives you that perfectly defined look. I actually forgot to use it today. So again, like don't look at my lashes. But again, hopefully that footage that I have inserted for you shows you that this is the real deal. So if you can't stand clumped lashes, you need this in your life. Another Sephora collection favorite are the Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liners. I saw these on TikTok. I think it was like an ex Sephora employee who was like, here's the deal, here are the best products. And she recommended these. So I was like, all right, you guys know I love an affordable recommendation. Let's try them out. And they are so, so good. I love, love, love this texture. It really is like a nice soft gel pencil. It's not dry, but it's not like too creamy and slippy to where it gets really messy. It still lines perfectly. You get that definition, you get the pigment, and it has like a really nice, I don't know, cream kind of satiny finish which I also love. They're so freaking good. So the two shades that I have are 29 Dress to the 90s and 28 Sinker Suede. And I definitely need to go back and just pick up some more and see what other colors they have because I feel like I don't really need any other lip liners. I mean, I have others of course for the shades, but in terms of actual consistency, this is so good. And last is the lip combination that I am wearing right now. And I am calling this like a pink frosting lip. I feel like there have been a lot of lip trends like that, like glazed brownie. What else? <laughs> kind of like glazed dessert lip trends. I feel like I've been seeing that a lot. And the second that I put this lip combination on, I was like, this reminds me of pink frosting in the best way. So I would say the main product that helps me to get that look is definitely this lip oil. This is the In Beauty Project Lip Oil in the shade Glaze Number no. 3, which is called Froze. And it's such a cute light frosty pink. It's just like the best feminine frosty pink ever. And I really Really, really love the In Beauty Project lip oils. They're super comfortable, very plushy and conditioning. They have a nice big doe foot. I like the bigger doe foots like that. Oh, these are so nice. So that is definitely a must if you want the pink frosting look and you can really put this on top of so many lip colors and get a look like that. But I have been loving pairing it with this lipstick from Dior. This is the Dior Addict lipstick in Thai and Dior. And it's basically the most perfect beigey pink nude of all time. Oh my goodness. Ew, that was so creepy. I'm so sorry about that. This is my absolute favorite kind of lipstick. This sheer shiny 
like kind of balmy lipstick. I just think that they are so beautiful and so flattering and this shade is really, really cute by itself, but also with this on top just gives you that perfectly frosting-y look. I have two fragrances to share. First is Kayali Vanilla 28. This is a warm and spicy fragrance with notes of vanilla orchids, Tonka Absolute, and Amber Woods, which now that I'm thinking about it are either the exact same or almost the exact same notes as Carolina Herrera Good Girl, which is one of my all-time favorites. This one is super similar, but I would say a little bit spicier than that one. Well, I hesitate to say that because it's not something that I smell and I'm like, ooh, that's a really spicy fragrance, but there's just a little bit more spice to it than Good Girl. I feel like Good Girl is just a bit sweeter. So if that one is too sweet for you or you want something that's just like a little more, I don't know, seductive, that was really scary too. Then go for this one because it smells delicious. And the other, which is a completely different type of fragrance is from Fleur and it is Tangerine Boy. I just picked this one up in the, is this called like the sample size, mini size, cause I wanted to smell it. They didn't have a tester out. So I was like, I'll just start with this. And I also have so many fragrances. I'm like, I don't need to buy a bottle every time. Super yummy. So this one is considered to be a fresh citrus and fruit fragrance with notes of tangerine, lemon, and amber. It is very, very fresh and very tangerine-y, so if you're not into fruity fragrances, specifically tangerine, then you definitely won't like this, but if you are into those things, then you will love this. I feel like this is such a great spring and summertime fragrance because it's just fruity and springy and summery, but also, I feel like these two mesh together so, so nicely because you have the fruity tangerine -y here and then the seductive vanilla. So mixed together, tangerine vanilla, are you kidding? All right, let's wrap up the video. Oh wait, I wanted to show you guys this. Dang it, this should have gone in the skincare category. I completely forgot to talk about this. This is the OGX Shea and Soft, no. <laughs> Shea Soft and Smooth Body Wash. Specifically this body wash, it smells like frosting. One of you told me about this on Instagram and I was like, sold, I'm trying it. And you were right, it smells just like frosting. It is delicious. Oh my God. I have never seen this in stores, but you can get it on Amazon which is where I ordered it, <laughs> yes. All right, now let's wrap up with miscellaneous things. First up are the pants I'm wearing right now, but uh, I can't show them to you guys because this is not gonna capture the entire length of me, that's for sure. So I will just insert a photo here. They are the Athleta Elation straight leg pants and they are life-changing for anyone of any height, but especially if you're a tall gal like me because they have them in size long and they're actually long enough in both leg length and also rise. So they're high waisted, they sit above my hips, but then they also are long enough to like pass my heels on the floor. <sighs> I know for a lot of you that doesn't mean much, but if you're 5'10 and over, then you know the struggle in finding pants that fit perfectly and these absolutely do. And they're so, so comfortable and just such good basic solid pants. I would say it feels just I don't know, like a nice high quality legging, yoga pant. And I really like the straight leg cut because it's not too flare and yoga panty. It's just, it's great, check it out. Something else that I'm wearing that is definitely a favorite, <laughs> why am I just so creepy in this video, is this fleece pullover from Target. As I am filming this video, they are completely sold out, so hopefully they'll be restocking. Did I just get lipstick everywhere? Or if not, hopefully you'll luck out and find one in stores. They do have other colors. I also have this in black. I have been wearing these nonstop. They are so, so comfy and cozy, the perfect winter wintertime pullover. I've been wearing them in lots of videos and I actually need to stop doing that because with the bright beauty lights on me, the sweat that ends up happening. So this may be the last time that you see this on camera, but just know I am wearing it constantly off camera. It's just one of those sweatshirts that I just always throw on when I'm sitting on the couch, when I'm waking up in the morning to have coffee. You know, it's one of those. Okay, for the dog items, I just wanted to recommend one brand. I literally Google searched, I think like aesthetic dog accessories or something like that because I wanted to find a really cute collar and leash combination and the brand Wild One popped up and I was like, that's it, that's the one. So they have these 
collar leash harness combinations that are all perfectly matching. They have a bunch of different colors. So I just went with this like stone color. If you're not into neutrals, they have really, really fun bright colors as well. I almost got the light purple. I might need to get that for like her springtime walking kit. And they also have these little bag holders that you can attach. Like it's just all, this is right up my alley. They are so, so cute. I would highly recommend. And I really like the fact that this is not cloth or fabric. I don't know exactly what the material is, but it just makes it easier to clean versus like a fabric leash. Once it gets dirty, I feel like it's just dirty forever. So if you happen to have a dog or cat that you like to get cute accessories for, I would definitely check out Wild One. <laughs> these look so sad. I have worn these a lot. They are the best socks ever. They are from the brand Earth Therapeutics, which is just something that you can pick up at Ulta. They're called aloe socks, so they're aloe infused. I don't really know how much of that is true, but they're just such comfy socks. They're the perfect cozy socks ever because they're not too thick and warm and gonna make you sweat a lot, but they're still cozy. Like just thick enough to be cozy, so, so soft. I love them so much. So I don't know if you're in the market for some new cozy socks, maybe check out Aloe Socks. All right, let's finish off with my two latest book favorites. First up is The Golden Couple, and this is written by the two authors who wrote The Wife Between Us, which is one of my favorite, favorite books. I loved that one. This one is similarly thrillery and psychologically twisty. I'll just really quickly read the inside. Wealthy Washington suburbanites Marissa and Matthew Bishop seem to have it all until Marissa is unfaithful. Beneath their veneer of perfection is a relationship riven by work and lack of intimacy. Marissa wants to repair things for the sake of their eight-year-old son because she loves her husband. Enter Avery Chambers. Avery is a therapist who lost her professional license. Still, it doesn't stop her from counseling those in crisis, though they have to adhere to her unorthodox methods and the bishops are desperate. When they glide through Avery's door and Marissa reveals her infidelity, all three are set on a collision course. Because the biggest secrets in the room are still hidden, it's no longer simply a marriage that's in danger. And this one was really fun because what do they call it? Like dual heroine or something like that, where they follow both of the women and both of them have secrets and like twisty stories. So it's not just the one plot line that keeps you on your toes. It's both of them, which I really love. So this was really good. And the other book is Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid, who is one of my all time favorite authors. This book is about a tennis player who was the best tennis player in the world, had to retire, and now is watching somebody else basically take her title. So she wants to come back and try to win it back. And if that doesn't sound super exciting to you, it did not sound super exciting to me at first either. I am not really into sports. I was like, I don't think this is gonna be for me, but I gave it a try and I'm so glad that I did. This totally sucked me in. It's, I mean, she does that in every single one of her books. If you're a fan of her books, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, Daisy Jones and the Six, things like that, you will love this as well, I promise. Oh my goodness, and I cried. I always cry when I read her books. This actually made it into my top 10 favorite books that I have read recently list, which I posted a video on recently. I get a lot of questions asking about my favorite books, so I wanted to kick off book content with that listed below. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and had fun hanging out with me. Let me know in the comments below if you are going to test out any of these products. If so, everything is listed and linked in the description box below as always. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys so much. Make sure to stay tuned for my next one because that will be up in a few days, but until then, I hope you have a great few days.